Nang and Papa were the center hub of all of our family. They were instrumental in setting the tone for what they expected out of their children. You know, hard work and, and dedication and customer service, and that has been passed down to this generation as well. When Papa graduated from St. Stanislaus in 1913, he returned home to the farm. And at the time, our family was not only milking cows, but growing sweet potatoes, and we had a cotton gin. And Papa uh, suggested to his father that we forget all the rest and focus on milking cows. And so upon his return, they incorporated Klein Peter Farms Dairy and began just milking cows. Growing up, I was not aware of all the things that uh, Nang and Papa did in the community. Later in life, we would always have people come up to us and tell us, you know, your family did this for me way back when, or did this for my, my mom and dad when we were on hard times. And, you know, we never knew those things were going on. But we did grow up learning to give back and watching and being a part of that process. This is one of the nicest families uh, anybody could ever meet. And when you talk about that, uh, they have gone out and done so much for so many organizations in this community. But when they greet you, there's a smile. Uh, there's a special touch about them. Well, you could tell by the smile on my face that I'm really proud of that. And not proud of what I have accomplished, but what we've accomplished as a family. For three, four generations now for me, five generations for our children and nieces and nephews. It's a big thing. Well, for about 20 years, the Excellence at General Award has been awarded to uh, families, individuals, and corporations in the community that have uh, given of their time, resources, and uh, you know philanthropic efforts. And the Klein Peter family and the Klein Peter Farms Dairy have given over the top of all of those things. Each year we give back to over 400 charities in and around the Baton Rouge and Louisiana area. So we still are very generous and very proud to do that. And it inspires me and motivates me today to continue that tradition. I can't see doing it any other way. Uh, and I believe that everyone in our family feels the same way. We've learned that from the examples of our aunts and uncles and mothers and fathers and those that went before us. It's about really continuing the quality and the foundation that was laid by many members of their family. So you have a legacy of which you must uphold. They stuck by the family means, family methods, and that's why they are so successful right now. I think today, to make it 100 years, it's, it's been very difficult, it's never easy, because the pressure is on to continue it, and uh, so that drives us every day to try to take it to the next level and keep it going for the future generations. I'm honored that we're, our family is a recipient of the award, um, because there have been some very notable people in, that have received this award in the past. It really is, it's incredible to be even considered I really feel like we're, we're being honored for something that we just do every day. I almost feel like it's not deserved because this is just what we do and who we are. But to be noticed for it, it's pretty special. And so we feel special about that. And it's not just something Klein Peter Dairy has done. It's Klein Peter family. And that's more important to me than Klein Peter Dairy. Thank you for having a great organization. The organization would be nothing without the people who run it. And the Klein Peter family has set a standard that's gonna to be tough for anybody to beat. And at the same time, we say thank you for helping Baton Rouge. Thank you for what you do. And thank you for the quality that you brought to so many lives.